I believe as humans, we have this desire, this passion deep down to be creators, to be designers, to be makers. And we only really find fulfillment when we tap into that. And really that is deep down what we were designed to do and to be as humans. My name is Marvin and I'm the brewmaster at Newstead Springs. Newstead is a small village that really is in the middle of nowhere. It's not close to any other major centers. It has this beautiful source of spring water. Back in the 1800s, the settlers found that and decided to build a brewery because that's the best thing to do with water. Other buildings were built within that small community. Lots of history, lots of iconic things. Everything needed for a functioning community was right there in that small village of 500 people. The brewery existed from 1859 through to Prohibition when it happened in Canada in the early 1900s. Obviously then it was shut down and then the building, it was a beautiful old stone building, became many other things during that time. It was an egg grading facility, a creamery, the dance hall for the local community. And it served that purpose through the years until it was revived in the 90s as a brewery again. I grew up in a small town, Forest, Ontario, as the middle child of three, in a fairly strict household where alcohol was just not consumed. It was frowned upon and uh, just wasn't really a thing. So I guess it was grade 11 and I was on this trajectory to go to university because I did well academically, but my heart really wasn't calling for that. Like I, I felt a calling for something a little more hands-on, a little more tangible. Also, I was a little rebellious, so that sort of factored into it too. The other aspect is I like to please people. It's always been in my nature and I really felt that I needed to go to university to please the people around me, my family and others that really were pushing me in that direction. So I applied to biomedical toxicology, whatever that is, and got accepted in the co-op program and went to University of Guelph. In my first year of university, I chose to go down a different route. I found out about food science, which was new to me, specifically fermentation science, which really awakened within me this passion for the science of fermentation and that really started me on a journey that I wasn't aware of at the time but in reflecting on it it's clear to see that that was a very pivotal part in the whole process. I needed a part-time job in university and I knew someone that owned a brewery and I called them up and managed to get a job, a part-time job working on the packaging line, and that just led from one thing to another. But I really landed on the brewing side of it, and that's where, as a brewmaster, when you get to create and you get to design and you get to implement and see that process right through, and specifically with beer, you can sit there at the end of the day and enjoy a pint, to me, that whole process and experience was just really special. I started on the packaging line, but within the first week, the QC manager actually quit and I was quickly diverted into that role. So quality was uh, pretty early on, something that I was good at and passionate about. As brewers came and went, I was able to actually become the brewmaster. So that's where I was able to design, to direct, to guide the course of, of the brewery itself. So that just naturally led me to continue to move up. And as the brewery itself expanded, there were more management needs. So then I became the director of brewing and quality. And that just led to me coming off of the floor and being more in an office and really looking out for more of the paperwork, HR, where I really was not brewing very much at all, maybe twice a month. Doing those managerial tasks, I slowly began to feel that I wasn't being fulfilled in the same way that I was as a brewmaster and there was really something lacking. 
I was still happy doing my job and again you can find fulfillment in many other things but as a creator as, as the person that I was designed to be I wasn't finding that same fulfillment and this is where Newstat comes in out of the blue I got a call from somebody that had bought the brewery and they asked me about being a brewmaster and what it took and if I knew anyone that was interested in the position and I'm like I don't think so um, but I'll ask around I'm like I, I can help you consult I can help get it started the second call was will you just come and be the brewmaster like, I was not expecting that I was not looking for it it took a fair bit of soul searching because this involved a move it involved a family moving a lot of people but after a lot of soul searching and praying about it, uh, we really arrived at this is the right thing to do. I am invigorated again doing those things that I used to do in my 20s. I still feel a little more tired at the end of the day than I did when I was 20, but smelling the mash first thing in the morning, the sweat on my brow as I grain out of the mash tun, those things those tangible things that connect me to the product are why I got into it in the first place, why I'm passionate about brewing, why I feel that I was created to do this. And being able to be hands-on like that uh, has just awakened my soul again. There's nothing like this feeling. If I could go back in time and talk to young Marvin, I would tell him not to stress so much about uh, the little details and, and finding out exactly what your purpose is, but to really connect with that passion. What is it that you enjoy doing? And try to connect that, follow the journey because it's still a journey and I haven't arrived yet. Maybe that journey will take me even into something else. I love fermentation science, it could be something different. But for now, this is where I am, enjoy that period where you are because when you stress about it then you're missing out on enjoying um, the moment that you're in. My advice for anyone that is feeling the calling, the, the passion towards doing something creative and, and working, oftentimes people start with a nine to five job and do it on the side. I think that's a great way to start out because again it's it mitigates the risk a little bit but make sure you really are passionate about that. And as that develops, there are opportunities for jobs in that. And, and if you can find that opportunity, that job that also pays the bills and you can do what you are designed to do, then that is, that is gold. But if not, then keep pursuing it as a passion because if you are passionate about it, if you are designed and called to do that, then it will come and, and you'll connect with a community that will allow you that fulfillment and that connection with other creators that is just unparalleled. I met an old man. Looking back, you know, it's weird to think that a kid from a small town raised in a family with no alcohol would end up being the brewmaster. And it hasn't always been easy. There's been a lot of struggles, a lot of failures, but I believe that those things actually shaped who I am. Those things make me stronger because I've been designed, I've been created to be that. Through it all, I believe there is hope. When you're pursuing those things, when you're pursuing the passions, the things that you are created to do, you will find that fulfillment. You will find out who you were made to be. My name is Marvin and I'm the brewmaster at Newstead Springs. It takes to heart what I wrote I said, son, when you grow up you'll be fine I know you've got questions on your mind Life is gonna happen one way or the other For the answers, then you'll find what you've got.